Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and in this lesson we're going to build a traditional kite. That's the kind of kite you're probably used to seeing, the old-fashioned kite. It's diamond-shaped. And here's the materials uh, you need to do this kite. You need two pieces of thin wood, 136 inches and 133 inches, quarter-inch, got to have some flexibility to it so it doesn't crack. Some string, not just for flying the kite, but for building the kite. A couple little tools, maybe some scissors. A little cutting tool, you can use a little pocket knife if you don't have something like that. Um, some masking tape, some, some uh, pieces of cloth cut like this into strips. Uh, a plastic bag, or newspapers. And these will be the actual body of the kite. I'm going to use a plastic bag for this tutorial, but you can use newspapers too. Um, I'll show you how to build this kite, but the first thing you need to do is take these your pieces of wood. I don't know if you can see this. But I've cut a notch. I've, I've, I put two wraps of masking tape around both ends of this, and then I've cut a little notch in that, if you can see that. There's a little notch cut in that. You're going to need that. And the masking tape is really good. Put the masking tape all the way to the end, and then cut the notch. This will prevent the wood from uh, splitting. And uh, you don't have to use square wood. You can use round dowels. But nice and thin, reasonably flexible. Thin for the weight. And are flexible so they can uh, so that it won't crack or break uh, in the wind. Okay, I'm starting to assemble the kite here, and let me show you a couple of things. Ten inches. This is this is the 36 inch long piece that's going to be your upright. Ten inches from one end is where you attach your 33 inch piece like this. What I did is I put it. I found the, the center of this piece. Try to keep it as centered as possible. I found the center. Put a couple of wraps of tape. And then I wrapped a bunch of string around it to get it nice and tight, and then I put a little more tape to make sure the string is locked. Then I um, just wrapped a piece of string all the way around the kite like this. And I started at the bottom, and I ended at the bottom here, because um, you're going to use a little bit of tape to tie it up and wrap it up, and so that it'll make the bottom just a little bit heavier. It's not much, but it makes a difference. Uh, after, you, after you do do that, Put some tape over the all four of the corners so that it holds the string in place. You don't want that string to somehow pop out in a little notch you made. And when you're doing it, make sure make sure when you're assembling the two boards, the, the, the two sticks together, make sure that you line it up so the notches are the right way, this way. You know, if you accidentally put in the notches the other way, you know, you're not going to be able to put the string in. You'll have to make new notches or take it apart. So get all your notches lined up the right way before you assemble the centerpiece here. So that looks pretty good. It's pretty tight. Make it pretty tight. And um, make it so tight that it bows a little bit. And see how this one, this piece bows a little bit? So now I'm going to uh, put the, now I'm going to put the actual plastic on there, and I'll show you how I do that. Be right back. Lay your kite down. Lay your kite down on top of your plastic or your newspaper, and then cut all the way around it. Get it nice and flat. Then cut all the way around it, maybe leaving yourself an inch or about maybe an inch extra, because you're going to fold this up and tape it down. So cut all the way around that, and um, you'll be ready to attach it to the kite. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, I've cut my plastic. Now all you have to do is fold this over the string and run a line of tape on it like this. Start on one side, do the top, and then when you do this other side, you can pull it taut and uh, tape that, those sides with it nice and reasonably tight. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's almost done. I just want to show you a little taping trick that I have here. What I did was I laid the masking tape down on the table, upside down, the sticky side up. Just like this. Now the sticky side is up. Now I put the, I pressed the plastic right down on that. See it? So trying to fold this up and tape it can be difficult. So now it's almost ready to go. It's attached to the plastic. I can cut it and then I can just fold it right over. And it's a lot easier to do it that way. So if you're having trouble with the taping, you do it, try it that way. Okay, this kite is just about done. I wanted to show you a couple of things. Um, you can see the first layer I made 
when I tied the first, when I taped down the first part, it's a little bit rough. I had a little bit of a hard time trying to learn and how to do it. So, but that's okay, that's fine. And you can see the last one I did came out perfect. Nice, beautiful line of masking tape. The strings in there are nice. It's all taped down well. So, the point there is that, you know, you're going to maybe struggle a little bit with the tape. Take your time and get it, and you'll get, you'll get good at it. And uh, so then I now, now I attach our tail. You're going to need a tail with this kite to keep it upright in a nice vertical position. You know, you want it to fly this way. And it's very light, and if you have strong winds particularly, um, get yourself a piece of string about six feet long. Tie a few pieces of rag to it, and that's your tail. And that should be nice. It's a very traditional kind of tail. Um, I suggest that when you go flying this kite, take some extra string and some extra rags, pieces of uh, cloth, with you so you can adjust the tail as you need it. You may need to take a piece off, put a couple of more pieces on to keep it flying in a nice vertical position. And <clears throat> if you have strong winds, you're having a hard time managing the kite, you could always consider cutting a hole in the center here, right about where this is, and taping, uh, taping around it so it doesn't rip. And that will allow some of the wind to escape through. So I would say start with a small hole, um, maybe about this big, Put it right there, tape around it so it's like almost like a little porthole. And um, that will help control your kite. The air will flow through it, especially if you have strong winds. So this thing's nice and light, nice and strong, nice and durable. That should fly really well. Oh, and um, of course, attach your kite spool of kite string right here. So that's the kite. Uh, I hope you had fun. Uh, thanks for watching. Visit my website, stormthecastle.com, and uh, be creative.